what we did was we made a measurements um, nearby a penguin colony, and I specifically had an instrument to measure ammonia. What we saw was that there was considerable emissions of ammonia from the penguin guano that was left behind. What we're seeing is that this this um, this ammonia emissions they they are they have a synergistic role for the formation of particles in the atmosphere. They specifically they interact with sulfur species emitted from phytoplankton in the ocean. And when these gases interact with each other, they they form new particles. And when these particles then grow large enough, they they influence clouds, and the clouds influence these climate relevant processes. So specifically, the ammonia we're measuring from the penguin guano has an influence on the rate that the particles form, where we quantified the ammonia emissions and then also its influence on this particle process. And we're seeing that the, the formation rate with the ammonia um, has, a, has a, about a thousand fold um, influence on the rate of particles, which means more particles that are being formed, and which means that they can influence the cloud processes and subsequently the climate. What we have demonstrated is that there is a deep connection between ecosystem processes, being the ocean phytoplankton activity, as well as penguins, and atmospheric processes that can have an impact on the local climate. And of course, this is relevant because if you have any sort of change to the, the environment or the ecosystem over time, that usually has a ripple effect throughout the entire ecosystem. Any any efforts to conserve biodiversity in the region to, um, to maintain the, their stability uh, is important.